Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about what is the best chat bot right now in this emerging generative AI chat GPT world, whatever we're in. Technology is always moving and there's always players out there to help move and shake as far as developing generative AI. So I wanted to create a video letting you know what are the best chat bots right now or the best overall chat bot. I think you'd be surprised. And with there being so many tools out there, I think it's very important that you understand what chat bots are available because it's not just chat GPT. So there's several factors that I put into play that are the candidates or the features that you want to find in every chat bot. And they are number one price. There's a lot of paid chat bots out there, but there are a lot of free chat bots that you can use that give you access to everything you need as far as a generative AI tool is concerned. Next is the large language model that each chat bot has. Now, a lot of chat bots don't have a large language model, or I would say most of them do, but none, not all are robust. And you want a chat bot that has a large language model that helps you utilize prompts to get the information that you want. Number three would be access to the internet because internet access is crucial when you are utilizing chats or prompts. I don't know why I keep throwing chats in there, but utilizing prompts and getting information that you want. Some chat bots are limited only to uh, online database, but not the internet at large, which is important if you're looking for information that you want, because overall, most generative tools are like Google. Next is linking to sources. If you're looking up information or pulling up information from a chat bot, you want to make sure that you utilize one that lets you know where it scraped that data. Now, remember, AI isn't some all knowing program that it's just pulling this information out of its head. It's scouring the Internet and it's on own internal databases to get you the information that you want. The more information it's it's got access to and the more that you are able to link to those sources, the better off you're able to use that foundation of AI to create and to get the content that you want. And finally, my favorite, is there an app available for that chatbot? You aren't always going to be tied to your computer, so you want to make sure that you get a chatbot that has an app and keeps your database of information. So regardless where you are in the world, you can pull up your chatbot and access it from whatever device that you want regardless if it's cellular data or if it's actual Wi-Fi data. Remember, you want a chat bot that's going to follow you all over the place. So why would you want to use one where you have to use the browser on your phone to access information? So are we ready as far as my picks is in, in the world of chat bots? Yeah, let's uh, bring up on the screen here, I think, would be the, well, I wouldn't say the most obvious, but the one that we have to start with. Let me bring it up, get back to me, and we're gonna start off with ChatGPT. How could we not utilize ChatGPT3 as far as chatbots are concerned? ChatGPT is an overall robust chatbot that you can use for anything, including its strength as far as STEM tasks are concerned. Now, Chat GPT 3.5 obviously is limited in its data 
because it is the free version, which only gives you access to the internal database. Now, if you get ChatGPT4, then obviously you are a little bit more robust in what you can do. But the thing that I like about chatbots is the low price tag, meaning I like chatbots that are free and chatbots that give you a host of information. And also ChatGPT has an app that's downloadable for Android and iPhone users. So if you're looking obviously to get started with AI, you can start with ChatGPT for free, but just understand that its database is limited to January of 2022 and it's obviously the best overall now the next one that i'm going to bring up is claude now claude as far as a chatbot is concerned isn't as robust as chat gpt but claude is probably the best chatbot if you want to update documents get document summaries and ask questions about the documents that you upload. Probably the reason they named it Claude. But again, if you are working a lot with documents and you think that is the only thing that you're going to do, then Claude AI is the tool that you want to do. So keep that in mind. Our next chatbot that I think is going to be, well, I shouldn't say a game changer, but it's good because it's got its sole purpose. Now, oh, I've got to get back to me. Let's see here. Let's get to our desktop so we can talk about Jasper AI. Now, Jasper is a chatbot that is more geared towards marketers and business people. So if you're an individual, then you might want to avoid Jasper, but it's great because as you create your documents within Jasper, it's got a plagiarism checker, which is awesome. So that way, if you are generating text from Jasper using prompts, you can check and make sure you're not stealing someone else's information. Now, Jasper, unfortunately, does not have an app same thing with Claude, which I talked about previously, but you can access it from the browser on your smartphone. And the bad thing about Jasper, you get a free trial, but the chatbot itself is gonna cost you a little money either yearly or monthly. Now, the next one that I think is a good chatbot would be Perplexity, I hope you can see that on the screen. I don't think you can, you can now. But anyway, the good thing about Perplexity AI is a chatbot that allows you to play around with a chatbot, if that makes sense. Because what it does is it allows you to get prompts that you can use in order to get started. So if you wanted to just get an idea of how prompts work, then Perplexity will allow you to do that, gives you sources, you can get information for prompts and then it'll give you related prompts. But like most chatbots, it's got a library. So everything that you looked up, it's gonna keep in the library. And you can also go to discover on perplexity and it'll give you popular choices that you could do prompts on to get more information from your chatbot. Now remember, with any chatbot, if you can Google, you can utilize a chatbot and AI. But again, this is where we're headed. We're headed towards a world where we may not Google so much, but we will actually utilize our chatbots to be our form of Google. Now, a fun one that you could get for your kids as far as a chatbot is Socratic. Now, Socratic's been around for years, and I used to talk about this as an educational app, but what Socratic will do is that whatever subject that you need to look up for school, for your kids, you can utilize Socratic in order to get the answers that you want. 
and it's designed by or designed to be a learning tool for kids and it's powered by Google AI. Now, the good thing about Socratic, because I know a lot of um, educational institutions won't allow a form of chat GPT to be used, but with Socratic, it's more of a task that helps students learn as opposed to a chat bot that's going to allow them to utilize the document creation of an AI tool. So if you've got kids, you want to allow them to find the answers to the problems they deal with, download Socratic. And that's one of the bad things about the app itself is that, oh, let me go back. Socratic is only available as an app, but good thing it's available from the iPhone store and from the Google Play store. But that means you've got to give your kid a smartphone. And I'm not going to get into that discussion, but Socratic, as far as apps are concerned, is one of the ones that you would want to download on your kids or download for your kids. Two more to go, people, and they're almost equal. So next on our list is Google Gemini. Google, what used to be Bard last year, is a very robust app and chatbot that you can get. Now, at the time of this video, no Gemini app as of yet, but I may be wrong, but Gemini is pretty robust as there, well, there will be an app version, the desktop version. One of the things that you can Gem use with Gemini is that you can utilize your voice in order to do your prompts. Uh, one thing with Gemini, when you put in a prompt, you can, let's do a, let's see if we can get a prompt. One of the things you can do with Gemini is you can name it, you can start talking to it, give it a roll, and also Gemini gives you various drafts of things that you have looked as far as prompts are concerned. Now, the other good thing about Gemini, and it's, what's the word that I'm looking for? My favorite F word, it's free. And it's designed for Google users. So if you're looking for a robust app, you're a Googler, and you want something that you can use on your smartphone, on your computer, you can use your voice, Gemini is a great tool to use. Now, we'll warn you, Gemini does do AI text to images, but it's not as robust as the app that I'm going to bring about. Now, at this current time, the top AI app out there is Copilot, if you can believe it or not. But Copilot right now is the top, in my opinion, AI app out there. Now, Copilot utilizes Chat GPT-4 as far as its, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? As its engine. It uh, works like a search engine. It uh, gives you up-to-date information because Copilot, like Google, which I forgot to mention, has access to the internet. Like Gemini, Copilot will give you links to sources and the number one reason why I like Gemini, and I love to say this because it's my favorite F word, it is completely free. Now, keep in mind there is a version of Copilot that will work with Microsoft Apps for a fee, but overall, Copilot is currently winning the game as far as AI is concerned. One of the good things about Copilot, uh, you've got the default program, you've got the image generator where you can do text to image um, also it has different segments in copilot that you can use specifically for vacation planning cooking assistant fitness trainer so your prompts are going to be more geared to what you're looking for if you use some of the gpts built in with copilot so there you have it copilot Use it. It's free and it's got chat GPT-4 built into it. Right now, it is winning the game as far as chatbot tools are concerned. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear from you to find out if you agree with me as far as generative AI chatbots that I've mentioned in this video. 
and with every video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe. I shouldn't say that, but comment, like, and share the video with your friends that are looking for great tech tips from an awesome tech guy. Now, my goal with every video is to create a world and of, um, well, let's put it this way. My idea or my goal with every video is to help you get the most from the technology that you use at home and at work. I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.